All right, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video for Elden Ring. My name is Vinicius Eshkin. In this Elden Ring video guide, I'm going to give you my picks for the top best Katana Ash of War builds. Ash of Wars are special abilities that you can equip to your weapon and set them with different affinities to enhance one aspect or another, be it extra boots and stat scaling, or enhanced damaging effects, or even active magical attacks. With each different build, I'll tell you the Ash of War and what affinity I have it set with. The katana I'll be using for this video is the basic Uchi katana that you get when you start the game as a samurai or you pick it up in the Death Touch catacombs. A video link detailing how to get the Uchi katana will be linked in the description of this video and also as a thumbnail for you to click on at the end screen of this video along with other katana builds. So make sure you watch the video until the end. Now the katana I'll be using for this video is going to be the basic Uchi katana that you get when you start the game as a samurai or you pick one up later in the Death Touch catacombs. A video link detailing how to get the Uchi katana will be linked in the description of this video and also as a thumbnail for you to click on at the end screen of this video along with other great katana builds so make sure you watch this video until the end. The Uchi Katana has stat scaling for strength and dexterity, but for most builds when using a katana, you want to build into dexterity because it has a higher natural dex scaling than strength. And just to be sure, have the prerequisite 11 in strength so that you can use the katana properly. Now really quickly, before I get into the Ash of War builds, be sure to sub to this channel with notifications turned on because the Shadow of the Erdtree DLC is right around the corner or it might even be out depending on when you're watching this video and I'll be posting quick and to the point guides on items, weapons, and incantation locations as soon as possible, as much as possible. All right, so the first Ash of War build is easily going to be the very best one and that is a bleed build using the Ash of War for Seppuku. If you don't have Seppuku, check my Elden Ring playlist for an easy to follow guide on how to get it. The Seppuku Ash of War stabs your character and coats the katana in blood and with every attack you build up the onset of blood loss in your target. Once the blood loss meter is full in your target, they'll take a burst of damage and in most cases become staggered. For this first build, it's important to have a high arcane to increase blood loss buildup. The Uchi Katana already comes with a blood loss buildup stat of 45, so no matter what, you're going to build up blood loss in your target just by hitting them repeatedly with the Uchi Katana. For the Seppuku Affinity, you want to use the Blood Affinity, which dramatically increases the Uchi Katana's blood loss buildup. When it comes to the Mixed Physic, use the Thorny Crack Tier, which makes consecutive attacks grow stronger, and the Spiked Crack Tier to enhance charged attacks. For Talisman with this build, a great basic set to use is going to be the God Skin Swaddling Cloth to restore HP with successive attacks, the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia that greatly increases attack power with successive attacks, and if you don't have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, the Wing Sword Insignia works just as well. Next, use the Lord of Blood's Exaltation to increase attack power when blood loss is in the vicinity, and finally the Axe Talisman to enhance charged attacks. The Axe Talisman and the Spiked Crack Tear Physic combo together to give you a devastating charged attack. Incantations to use that support this build are the Blessing of the Erd Tree for healing over time, Golden Vow for enhanced attack and defense, Flame Grant Me Strength for extra physical and fire affinity attack power, and Giant's Flame Take Thee. The next Ash of War Katana build is pretty much as good as the first, but slightly different, though it is a lot easier to get earlier on in the game. This time, you're going to use the Ash of War called Double Slash. The Double Slash Ash of War allows you to launch a series of advancing slashes with a touch of a button, and with one more button input, you can attack again, making it the ultimate consecutive attack ability. When you equip this Ash of War, use the Keen Affinity, which raises the Uchi Katana deck scaling up one letter grade for even more damage. Now, to combo with this Ash of War, you should use the Incantation for Blood Flame Blade. The Blood Flame Blade works similarly to Seppuku in that it builds up the onset of blood loss. It also sets your targets on fire. Now, for details on how to get the Blood Flame Blade incantation, check the description of this video. Talisman to use for this build are going to be the Fire Scorpion Charm to increase fire attack power, the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia or the Wing Sword Insignia, and the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and also the Shard of Alexander. The Shard of Alexander greatly boosts the attack power of skills, which works for Double Slash. For your incantations, use the same as the first build, and for the mixed physic this time, use the Fire Shrouding Crack Tier to further increase fire attack power, and the Thorny Crack Tier again for the consecutive attack power increase. 
the third and final Ash of War build I want to show you for the video is insanely good and it involves the Bloodhound Step Ash of War. The Bloodhound Step is an Ash of War that allows you to quickly dodge out of harm's way when being attacked. When you equip it, once again use the Keen Infinity so that you can use incantations on your sword. For me personally, I think the best armament incantation to use on a sword would be the Blood Flame Blade to build up that blood loss onset, but any other armament incantation work just as well here as long as it increases your sword's damage, such as Electrify Armament, Poison Armament, or even Black Flame Armament. Talisman that you want to run on this build will be the Carrion Filigreed Crest Talisman to lower the FP cost of skills. The Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and the Claw Talisman to increase jump attacks. The increased agility of the Bloodhound Step Ash of War will get you into positions where you can easily get off free jump attacks on your target, and the Claw Talisman is perfect just for this strategy. For your mixed wondrous physics this time, use the Stone Barb Crack tier, which makes it easier to break enemy stances, and Thorny Crack tier to increase consecutive attack power. For incantations on this build, use the standard buff spells Blessing of the Erd Tree, Golden Vow, Protection of the Erd Tree, and Flame Grant Me Strength. If you want to go the Poison route, use Poison Armament coupled with Poison Mist to increase poison buildup in your target, or else go with the Blood Flame Blade and Giant's Flame Take D for increased fire damage. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this quick Elden Ring build video. If it was helpful, you can show me your thanks by giving the video your like. For questions, please drop them down in the comments. My name is Vinicius SGN. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.